Hi y'all, it's Saturday, it's my day off, I'm at home, and uh, YouTube's informal, right? Because I uh, haven't even had a shower, and uh, I just uh, brought my daughter to the airport to go back to school, and um, woke up and read some things, and read some comments, and wanted to do a little vlog, and yeah, a little vlog on some of the comments, and some of the stuff I've been I've been looking at, um, should Christians regard Jordan Peterson as a Christian? Uh, my favorite comment on that, he isn't, and you're likely not either. <laughs> Thank you, straight white male. Um, that was fun. And, but, but, you know, this, you know, the, a lot of people have, have commented with respect to this, because this is one of these questions that, you know, well, is he or isn't he? And, you know, how, how do you answer that question and how do you, um, what what does that question lead into? And you can hear some of that in my Rough Draft to Sunday video that I did, the series on Sola Scriptura, or the series on the five solas that that people have been um, that some people asked me to do at church, and so I've been I've been working on that. But for me, you know, this is all part of a process. I mean, this entire this entire foray into YouTube and making videos is all a, a process of exploration in Petersonian terms, a, a wandering into chaos to see what kind of gold I can find and what kind of dragons I can slay. Uh, last night there was a, a really interesting um, presentation, and I know a lot of people were looking forward to it. I know a, a lot of people out there, um, you know, are fans, a lot of Christians are fans of William Lane Craig. Um, not he's he's not my cup of tea. Um, I, I I saw the white socks. You know when I when I went into this, I I kind of was thinking that that watching these things is kind of like watching one of my favorite TV shows, which is uh, the Curse of Oak Island. And and the Curse of Oak Island is really for all those who watch it, because every week we watch it and we hope that they'll dig something up. And every week we get mud and old wood or something like that. And we're just like, you know, hey, bring up the Ark of the Covenant. And no, no, it's not there. And, uh, you know, we, we're just sure that they're pulverizing it with these big cans and so on and so forth. So, you know, and, and, and I watched this and I, I really loved it. It was it was fun listening to the arguments. Um, you know, Peterson was 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 very well mannered and I wish he was a little less well mannered. You know, jump in there, man. Yeah, be, be the motor mouth we all love. And um but he was he was he was well socialized and well behaved, and I'll probably talk a little bit more about that too. But you know, it, what, what it what it reminds me of is is all of these different all of these different cultures that we have now. You know, if you watched my uh, Jesus Lobster video, I wanted to give you a little bit more biographical information. I wanted to expose a little bit more of where my heart is and my own personal story is because, you know, so I've um, I'm a um, I'm a male of Dutch Jewish ancestry that that grew up in Patterson, New Jersey, in a church that was mostly African American. And, you know, from there I went, but at the same time I went to a Christian Reformed school, which at that period was, you know, very Dutch. And then I went to Calvin College, which was at that point still mostly Christian Reformed. Now it's quite a bit more diverse. And, and from there I was a missionary in the Dominican Republic where I lived in one country and worked with illegal immigrants from another country. And, and so my, my whole life I've always been a, a student of cultures and very interested in cultures because you have all these layers and these, these layers um, are, are all trying to deal with, you know, what is reality? What holds us together? You know, and when, when St. Boniface cuts down the tree and, um, you know, all of the pagan Germans are like, you know, oh, the, you know, you know, Woden or Thor is going to smite you. And, and Boniface is like, ha, my God is bigger. I'm going to cut down this tree and nothing's going to happen to me. Well, and, and this then becomes a, this then becomes a morality tale for a materialist that says, oh, well, what we've got is the tree and the axe and all this spiritual layer that's just a, a bunch of humbug. And so, you know, we all see uh, reality in these different camps. And so William Lane Craig is, is kind of a modernist, historical, traditionalist. I haven't, I haven't looked up his church um, affiliation, maybe Arminian and um and those of you who know theology and reform theology will know that uh, Arminianism um, is 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 considered by um, is considered by the reform the tiny little reformed camp. And thanks for the emo Phillips uh, joke on religion video that someone put in the comments. Um, you know, is this it's this 
we, if you're a Calvinist, you call it a Calvinist heresy. And so, you know, but Arminianism is all about, you know, we have choice and, and I'm not going to get into the whole Arminian reformed thing, but, but that's a, but you know, that, that really then becomes a cultural camp. And then you have Peterson with his Jungian symbolic Darwinian, um, approach at things. And so when you, when you look at last night's thing, you know, it's no wonder they're having trouble talking to each other because so many of the terms are different and they approach things from different angles. And, um, you know, I just, again, I thought it was great fun. I mean, Curse of Oak Island is my favorite show and it's also a frustrating show. And, 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 encounters like these are too and and then there's there's my camp and i'm going to um tim keller did a talk at princeton seminary princeton theological seminary that was very controversial he was talking there for the kuiper lecture and because of my own position in my own cultural position with um this gets into a whole bunch of in-house stuff that most of you won't get but there was protests for tim keller being given that being given that prize and so they didn't give him the prize but they had him lecture and i'm going to dive into that video because i think in many ways peter's um um tim keller is talking about leslie noob again who was talking about Abraham Kuyper, and these are all people within my own tradition, and very much presuppositional apologetics, and, and figuring out how to do apologetics differently. So I'm going to have a video that I'm going to do on that one of these days. It's always a matter of getting enough time to do these videos. And then, of course, there's the postmodernists over here, and or the, the materialists. And so, you know, this a lot of these, a lot of these tensions came out in that debate. But now this morning, someone pointed me to uh, Jonathan Pajot, and I know some of you have said, oh, you got to talk to this guy, and, and we'll talk sometime, because I said, yeah, I'd love to talk to him, and, and you know, I'm kind of waiting on um, when I learn enough of his stuff so that when we have a conversation, it's, it's, you know, either he's got some burning questions for me or I've got some burning questions for him. I'll probably have some burning questions for him first, because, you know, so I was I was watching his video this morning, and... Oh, where are we? Jumped ahead. I was watching his video this morning on symbolism of the tree, and I thought, hey, Ben, my son just watching me make a video. Um, watching this symbolism of the symbolism of the tree and and yeah, just really enjoying it and and just pondering on how you you also have these different camps of reading the Bible. And so, you know, I was very much trained in the grammatical, historical, and, and the Eastern Orthodox tradition, let's call the bibli biblical symbolic. Um, in, in this mixture is this question of authorial con intent, which very much gets into culture and place and time. And so, you know, one of the things that I've been appreciating in this, in this journey of studying Jordan Peterson and and now getting to know some of Jonathan Peugeot's videos is is how the this other tradition that I've not been trained in the biblical symbolic is um, opening up new avenues for me in terms of understanding the Bible uh, after sola after the five solas um, I'm gonna have a guest preacher one Sunday so there might not be a might not be a, be a video coming out that week but then um i'll be we'll be into lent and i've decided to go through the old testament lectionary readings for my sermon series going into lent and one of the texts going into that is the is the bronze serpent on the staff and and i think you know everything that i've learned from peterson and peugeot is going to be really helpful in terms of piecing this all together but you know this this all gets this all um comes into this this question again of culture and well how can we know reality and and how can we know the bible and how on one hand we approach the bible from our own cultural perspectives yet yet there is a there is a truth there is a reality there is there is something that we're getting at and this very much gets into where I'm going to do more videos on this question of Peterson and a Christian, not because, you know, I need to hang my label on him, but because working at this question helps us unlock these cultural questions, because this is a, this is a slide I, I made in that, in that thing. But, you know, many, many people will say, yeah, but unless you, you know, this, this, this stuff gets so complicated so fast in terms of belief and then, you know, again, I'm a, my training is in grammatical, historical 
um, interpretation of the Bible, not symbolic biblical. So that's a that's a new area for me that I'm growing. But then when you get to the question of, well, what is a Christian? Well, obviously we go to the Bible first. I'm a Protestant. I'm a Reformed Protestant. We go to the Bible first to answer that question. And as I've as I've said in a lot of the rough draft to Sunday videos, um, the you know there, there's a lot to this question. And you know one of my definitions of a Christian is, do you trust Jesus more than yourself? And and whereas you won't find that line in the Bible, I think that's a pretty good summary of a number of the biblical themes and threads that are in the Bible. But but there's also these threads of belief, and and often when Peterson is is asking is asked the question, are you a Christian? He will he will say, well, I'm trying to figure out what belief is, and that's a really important question. And and one of the things that you know we're going to have to deal with with Peterson is his his as if philosophy. And and some of you in the comment section have told me about you know some of this as if philosophical tradition. And that's been one of the terrific things about this whole experiment for me in that I haven't um, I've I've learned so much from the comment section and. You know, the, the internet is this amazing thing where we crowdsource this information and I could never meet as many of you if I, if I stuck within my own little cultural and church silo. But via this, um, for someone who is high in openness and loves to go out there and, and get the gold and kill the dragon and do all these things, um, you know, this is, this is just, this is just tremendously fun and exciting for me. And, you know, obviously folks are watching my videos, which, Again, if you look at my early videos, it took me by complete surprise, but um, it's been it's been tremendously fun. I'll have to do another video where I'm gonna I should talk about the meetup that we had at Living Stones with a bunch of the Sacramento Buckos getting together, and that was that was tremendously fun. And in in February, I'm going to the event in San Francisco, and you know I I'm not you know it'd be fun to go to the event and, and listen to. Peterson in person, but the the real interesting thing for me is going to the event and looking at all the other people who are going to be there to get my own firsthand analysis on what the Jordan Peterson community in Northern California looks like. I'm getting my sense of that in Sacramento, but to see what it's like in Northern California. So here, here's our little rambling video. I don't want it to go on too long. Um, so this will be one of my vlog videos, and you know, if you have any comments or questions or want to bounce off some of these ideas, this will give you an idea of some of the videos I want to really get to in the future. The problem is I have way more videos in my head than I have possibly have time to put them out here, which is why, in some ways, this format is so is so helpful for me because I can just sit down and you know, unshowered in my in my dining room, and um, yeah you know, vomit here onto the computer and, you know, well, that's kind of an ugly metaphor, I know, because y'all are picking through the scraps to see what you can eat, but chaos, order, all this stuff. My son is now laughing at me in the other room because of this, this crazy, horrible image I just made. So here's the video. I'm going to post it right now. And thanks, thanks for watching. Leave a comment. You're, again, I, 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 I'm, I think I am able to read most of the comments at least most of the first comments, a lot of the follow-up discussion, I, I can't necessarily get into just in terms of time, but I really appreciate the comments. I really appreciate um, all the reaching out that many of you have done. It just continues to expand my world. And as Peterson said, and it's very much true of me, I'm a, I'm a content informational carnivore. I mean, I, I eat this stuff up and I, I always love new information and new ideas and so this has been great fun. So thanks for watching. Leave a comment. And um, yeah, 